What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. I'm going to come with you to uh, with a different video today. Today I'm going to talk about can a black, not can, can any chick really, raise a, a, a boy into a man and the answer is still no I've been hearing arguments left and right when I say when I made that video about can a single mother raise a man and, uh, and uh, I'm not talking to the men I'm talking to the ladies why they don't I know they're not going to care because that's their usual their usual old uh, sentiment but then what gets me is you get these guys out there my mother raised, my mother did, and I want to, you know, I want to say no, and you know, you, you, but you don't want to, like, you know, offend a dude's mother, but it's like, no, nah, she didn't. She can't teach you how to be a man. Only another male can teach you how to be a man. And this is the point they're trying to get. I mean, you're missing. That's, that's like, like, I don't, that's like my brother. His wife, God rest her soul, you know, passed away. But can my brother teach his daughters, which he has three of them, now four of them, can he teach his daughters how to be a, a woman? No. That's where people like my mother and his new wife come in. He him himself cannot teach some chick. I can't teach them how to be a woman. I can teach them how to be a good human being, but I can't teach them how to be a woman. That's where other ladies come in and fill that void. Now, a lot of you chicks don't want your child's father, for whatever reason, your haters, basically. You don't want your child's father in, 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 the, in his life. Whenever he acts up, you want to blame the child's father for not being in his life. It's like a double-edged sword. And then people will say, well, you, it's not that hard. Not, look, if you don't know the court system, yes, it is hard. Because what, what a lot of them do is, and uh, this is going to be 100 they, they use the court system against the man. They'll say, they'll, they'll accuse you of hitting them, they'll accuse you of this and that, and the police always arrest the guy. It could be no scratches, no nothing, but nowadays the police arrest the guy. And me personally, I don't have time for that bullshit. And I got stuff to do with my life. And I'm not going to jail for, for first of all, for no charges for not doing anything. If I did it, all right, I'll go, but I'm not going for some BS. But back to the video. The problem with what I'm saying is a lot of people don't want to really address because they'd have to admit they're wrong. And, well, number one, you can't tell a black woman she's wrong. So there goes your, there goes your main problem right there. But if you look at these young boys, they totally act like their mother. You can tell. They want they, they, they want to use a lot of mannerisms. The, the, that. They, they, want the, they want to do the tss, And they want to argue. Then, then, then the new thing is Especially on meet social media. What's the first thing a chick tries to do to shame a guy? And I had this I just had this happen recently from by some section eight ghetto princess on Facebook. They call you a bitch and now and I tell these women, you need to check your boys before I check them. Cause if I get called a bitch out in the open, I said the internet I'm not really gonna take a take a red out of Seattle to to scoop that dude up. But if he's within a couple miles, I might take that trip. And you got these young boys that don't understand like calling someone, someone a bitch. That's 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 really uh, that's kind of setting things off there. I mean, it really is. But realistically, a lot of men like you need to find a, a, a role model for a man for for a young for a young man. I mean, it could be an uncle, a grandfather, maybe like an older cousin, something like that. But the, like I said, these women that don't do it, all you're doing is raising a man. You're turning a boy into a man with feminine principles. Because like I said, they don't know nothing about respect. They don't know nothing about the totem pole. They know nothing about, you know, the chain of command. They know nothing about this. And now, and now if you look at these videos, you got these young boys whipping on old women. And then these chicks are like, oh, he, he deserves this, he deserves that. Well, I'm like, hold up. That's the chickens coming home to roost. 
You didn't want a man in his life, and now he acts like you, and now so it's a problem. That's just the chickens coming home to roost. And now it's a, it's, a, it's a cult. It's a counter. It's counterproductive. Not to have the man talk to him, you know, and like a lot of them said, well, he don't pay child. That's not that's not the point. If he do, if he doesn't pay child support, he's still the father regardless. And if it's all about the money, you're a bitch. Let me repeat this again. If it's, it was all about the money, you're a bitch. If he doesn't pay child support and he can, he's an asshole. But I could go on and on. I have to tell you why. You, well, I think a lot of you women know, and a lot of guys know this. They just don't want to admit it because they don't want their feelings hurt. But at the end of the proverbial day, a woman cannot raise a boy and raise him up to be a man. No matter how many times I hear these guys say, well, my my grandmother didn't and my aunt didn't. No, she didn't. Because you just like her. You remind me of her. You're bickering and fighting every five minutes to me. So... I'm going to get out of here. Let y'all have a good day. Peace.